from the gateway to showbiz glory. This is Hollywood 411. It's not here. I will have the Dragon Ball, old man. Ripping scene from the upcoming movie Dragon Ball Evolution. And with me now, one of the stars of the film, James Marsters, who plays Lord Piccolo. Welcome, James. Great hey, to have you. You look a little you. different in that clip there. Yeah. <laughs> I have a little less makeup on. Slightly less yeah, makeup Yeah, you're a little on. less green today, and you've got a little bit of a higher voice. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. And now, of course, the film is uh, is based on the long-running uh, and very complicated anime, anime Japanese cartoon, yeah. which you've described as uh, the best cartoon in 50,000 years. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about cartoon. the story and, and why you love it so much? Uh, yeah. yeah. Dragon Ball is a story of an evil race of Saiyans who are super powered, who can fly and shoot energy bolts out of their hands, they're almost invulnerable, uh, very strong. And they're evil and they like to find nice planets and wipe out intelligent life and sell the planet to the highest bidder. Bummer. And Yeah. <laughs> and they find, they find Earth and Earth is beautiful and to them Earthlings are not that powerful so they only send a baby to wipe out all human life and that baby's name is Goku. And he comes to Earth to wipe us all out, but luckily he gets a, into a crash on impact. He loses his memory and is uh, found by a kindly older man named Gohan who raises him as his grandson. Uh, but when the kid turns 18 years old, the galaxy, which is much more complex and scary than anyone on Earth realizes, comes knocking in the form of me. You're the Piccolo. galaxy. That's a well, lot Well, I'm, I'm one of many, <laughs> I'm one of many really uh, powerful, mean uh, people that are really out there that we don't know about. And I'm just the first one to come to Earth. Yes. And uh, he deals with me. So right the moment that he becomes a man on his 18th birthday, uh, he has to kind of he has to man face up Lord and Piccolo. save the world. Yeah. Right. And of course, you're the, you're the big evil guy. I know Lord Piccolo used to be a good guy, but then he was in prison for 2,000 years. I try to keep up with this very complex storyline. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about why you It's like the War of the love. Roses, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of, yeah. except more complicated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but tell us a little bit about your character. And he's, very, he's a very fascinating guy. Mm -hmm. And also, you were really involved with the look of your character, which we saw there in the clip, which is uh, pretty intense. Yeah, I was very locked into having to have my character be old and decrepit. I told them, when my girlfriend comes down to Mexico, I want her to run for the hills. <laughs> I just said, don't want her to have her kiss me. And she didn't want to kiss me. And then it really hurt my feelings. You were successful. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the, the, thing that, the reason that it was important to me is, A, that's the way it is in the anime. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's my whole, um, it's the reason my character is so angry is because I was locked away in prison for 2,000 years. And when I went into prison, I was a lot younger. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, you know, I had my mojo. Yeah. I get out of prison, look in that mirror for the first time, and I'm old and decrepit, and someone has stolen my youth. That would make and anyone bitter. Don't you think? Yeah. I think so it would. So now I want to go, go get the sheriff to put me in jail. I want to go get the whole town that the sheriff was trying to protect. And I can completely understand why Piccolo would turn so destructive. Now, I heard that your makeup took about 17 hours the first time it was done, and yeah. you got it down to four. But this whole look that you constructed, tell us about how involved you were with that. Um, my real involvement was trying to make sure that the character was green <laughs> okay. and the character was old. Um, beyond that, uh, we, we, we heard I about the old, have... what's the green thing? Well, is that uh, like a rotting type of thing? No, going on no, there? it's just that Piccolo is green. Piccolo okay. is a... In the anime, he's green. Yeah, he's a very popular character, and, and he's green. He's right. got pointed ears, he's got antenna, and he's green. And that's all there is to it. it would, and, and I always thought that doing Piccolo and not making him green would be kind of like doing the Green Lantern and making him purple or something. I it's hear you. You know, those done. anime fans are very devoted. And yeah. do you feel well, pressure been... to answer to them for the look? Well... I was answering to myself because I'm actually a Dragon Ball fan myself. Okay, so then. I was like, Piccolo got to be green. Yeah. Right, you're your target audience yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations on, on, on the film. And I also heard that um, Justin Chatwin today said that you guys are green lighted for a sequel. So I heard that in the I, I makeup heard room it was, here, actually. You, yeah. See how we're cutting edge here. Yeah, thank we you. We like I'm to keep happy. you informed. Well, either way, that's good news back for in you. My green suit. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations on the film, and we will be watching right James Marsder's Dragon Ball Evolution opens Friday, April 10th.
When it's 9 o'clock in Hollywood, do you know what the stars are doing? TV Guide Network does. Hollywood 411, weeknights at 9, 8 central on TV Guide Network.